Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is 5.30, Wednesday the 4th of January, 2023. Uh, 67 degrees Fahrenheit right now and raining. They say humidity is 94%. 19 degrees Celsius. So, just leaving Home Depot <clears throat> and on my way to Walmart. And I probably should have just gone to Walmart because they have a key machine there that you make your own key. Because... I went to Home Depot thinking I was going to get a key made <clears throat> and then get out of there. Ooh, get out of there. But it's all automated. You use a key machine and they didn't have any any registers open. There's no there was nobody no person working the registers. Just the socialist machines. <clears throat> so I had to do that. I, I went ahead and I used the automatic key maker and I used that social, what about the socialist checkout. I am not happy. Um, it's, the way I look at it, that's two people that I took, that they took jobs away from. Two people that aren't getting paid. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I am not a happy camper with that. Plus, I went out, you know, I went there specifically because I thought I would have real people doing the job. So, I need to run out to Walmart. Hopefully, I get there before 6 to get my medication. If not, it'll mean another trip, another day. Uh, so, anyway. Last night I went around and took pictures of some of the stuff that uh, my former tenant left that I could put online to sell and uh, on Marketplace. <laughs> I keep forgetting how bad that thing, the marketplace is. I mean, really, it's, oh man. <laughs> I've got this one, one piece, it's a futon uh, for a twin, for a twin size, you know, pulls that into a twin size bed, basically. And uh, I put it on fairly cheap because I want it to go. And I did that, I don't know, like 4 o'clock this morning or something. Within a half hour, I had two people offering me. Uh, one was at $30, $30 and one was at $26. I was like, no, I'll wait. <laughs> Give it a time. I should have said, yes, if you pick it up within the next hour, you can have it. Anyway, when I signed on to Facebook this afternoon... What is what? If traffic's going to be like this, I'm not going to make it to to Walmart in time. Anyway, I got up this morning and there were 22 emails on just the futon. Um, oh, come on. At least let me get out of the intersection. Oh, I hate traffic. I didn't realize it was this bad at this time of night. I wonder if there's an accident or something. Anyway. I've got a couple of other things on there that had a couple of 
comments or, or, or posts on. But yeah, this is crazy. Probably isn't legal. There's no way I'm sitting with all that traffic. Uh, so where was I? So yeah, there's a couple of other items, um, some shelving and some plastic drawers and stuff. So I'm pretty sure the shelves are sold at, at my asking price, which I put them up there cheap enough that it should be good to go. Um, got that pending for Saturday. Some of the other stuff that, that got left uh, is probably just going to make its way to the dumpster, unfortunately. Some of it is stuff that I had had before and he wanted to keep. So, okay. Um, but, you know, that is what it is. This rain has done eh, a halfway decent job of removing the junk on the truck. That's what I need to do when I'm at Walmart is buy a, a, uh, a hose nozzle. But we'll see. If I make it to Walmart in time to get my medication. If not... Then I'll get that stuff the next time I go. I should probably go ahead and change my prescriptions over to the pharmacy that's over here at this Walmart because it's right up at the right, basically right up at the next traffic light. And it's the one that I've been using primarily here recently because it's so close to the house. Ugh. I knew that was coming. Doesn't matter though. They've got both both lanes of, the, of that road or that that area of the road are kind of messed up. Ooh. So yeah, for this for this Walmart, um, I would turn turn left here, go up half a block, and turn into the driveway, and then it's you have to ride through the complex to get to the Walmart. It's not directly on the road, which is weird, but uh, I guess there, there's, you know, ordinances or zoning or, or whatever. So, uh, anyhow, Neither here nor there. And this way is a little bit further to get to where I want to go, but it might get me there in time. Then again, it may not. I'm 
tempted to go up one of these next roads and head back to Atlantic Boulevard to see if I've got if I've avoided the, the traffic but if I haven't then I am really screwed I'm trying to guesstimate where the traffic jam is Oh. oh well. If nothing else, it's a nice it's a nice evening out cruising. Seriously, lights, man, never fails, right? I was really thinking that Walmart closed or pharmacy closed at seven. I don't know why, and I double checked it there before I before I signed on or started the video or whatever. And uh, yeah, just the way it is. kind of bollocks up my plans <clears throat> for today. I wanted to come out and work on the wrap buggy. A lot of stuff I took out of the van last night. It didn't end up in the house. It ended up in here. It needs to be organized. Of course, this needed to be organized before I put the stuff in here <laughs> but it's always always needs me for organization because I'm always putting stuff in it and taking stuff out stuff isn't secured so you go around a turn and it all falls apart but eventually it all works out oh man these lights <clears throat> I'm not hitting the speed right between them. Probably because of the traffic. I can't get up to the brakes. I can't get up to speed in order to make it to the next light at the right time. Uh, this is starting to be lighter later which is a good thing I mean the longest day of the year was what almost two weeks ago so should be here shortly six o'clock it'll still be light out and then seven o'clock it'll still be light out and I'll be enjoying that right now like anytime I want to go out anywhere all the parks are closed at dusk so as soon as it gets dark, you're not supposed to be in there, which aggravates the heck out of me. I mean, it's a taxpayer-funded location. It's owned by the city, which is, you know, us taxpayers. And then they're telling us we can't be in there at certain times of the day. And they say it's for our safety reasons for our own safety or something to that effect and uh, thank you I think I can protect myself They're, they get up to, they get all up in arms I guess uh, people rendezvous at the parks in the dark you know um, sometimes it's heterosexual sometimes it's not but that's not the city's business it doesn't you know shouldn't shouldn't make any difference to them as long as there isn't crime going on although I guess in some areas some of that is considered a crime actually most of it's considered a crime even heterosexual contact outside of marriage is considered a crime 
in many areas. But still, I don't know, like I said, it's just one of those things that aggravates me. It limits limits my you know my my getting out and about. Even down to river where I mean there's only a couple of spots left that I could really that I really enjoy going to. But like down into little jetties, that closes at dark or as, as soon as the as soon as the sun is down. So it also really limits my my Friday fires. I'm pretty much limited to you know doing them at home where I used to like doing them out at the river uh, this is such a roundabout way to go I still have to get up here make another turn onto another major road and then drive back probably four miles, three miles, several miles to get back to Atlantic Boulevard and to Walmart. Well, about 20 minutes. So Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll make it, just make it. Man, they got a lot of building going on and do Goodwill. You know they were putting that building up. Guess where we got to check out. <laughs> uh, one thing nice is they've they've widened this road out back back out now. When I was driving the bus, this was all this was one lane in either direction. I had always crowded. There's a way to cut through on this road. It goes back over to the road that we two turns ago. But it twists and turns and it is loaded with speed humps. Used to be it wasn't. Used to be because that was the way I used to drive the bus. And we would slip through there. Because it avoided, it avoided the major, the major traffic lights, and all, especially the one, it was almost always backed up. But uh, as with anything that's, you know, a decent cut through, they threw in speed bumps, speed humps, whatever found one the other day, well, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, uh, before Christmas, I found a, a really cool cut through. And then when I went to use it again, they were putting in speed bumps. So, yuck. They keep channeling you where they want you to go. There's most, almost always a way to get around. Around the speed bumps or whatever, around around the traffic. Um, 
But then again, you know, with the speed bumps, that's what they want you to do. They want you to use the alternatives. So, you know, there was two roads, one, one basically behind, one block behind where I live, and the other one is one block in front of where I live. The one behind would take me right up to Sam's to get gas. And the one in front would take me right up to the Win dixie that I used to frequent, or I like to frequent. But they put the speed bumps in. So now I have to go all the way around. <clears throat> For the Win dixie it's not that bad. For the Sam's, it's, you know, it, it puts on several more miles. So... You know, that could be a real pain in the neck. But we're running up to 21 minutes, aren't we? Uh, it looks like I'm going to make it to Walmart just in time. Make it through this light. Just. Okay. And... Then I just need to make it through this light and the parking lot's right there. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. Come on, people. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fan document today. It's launching, y'all. Bye-bye.